Hi, I'm Barbara with Travel Tips and Info, and today I'm going to tell you about a trip we recently took to Bimini, Bahamas on a cruise ship. It's a relatively new thing that cruise ships are allowed to dock there. They just finished building the dock in 2021, I think. But it's a really beautiful island. It's tiny. It's only 700 feet wide and about seven miles long. I'm going to show you a map so you can sort of get the perspective because there are two other parts to the island which are much larger, but not places that you would typically go when you come there for the day on a cruise ship. If you want more detailed information, I have a written blog at TravelTipsAndInfo.com that really outlines every detail. But there are basically two things to do when you get there. One is go to the resort, which sponsors a tram that comes right to the pier and picks you up and takes you there, and you can spend the day by the beach and their water park. And the other is to just walk down the pier and catch a taxi tram to Radio Beach and Alice Town, which is really easy to do. So you don't have to go on the cruise sponsored excursions to enjoy the beach and some snorkeling and some of the local life. This is the pier that you get off. And when we were walking, oh, we saw a sea turtle while we were walking to the tent. This is the tent that you meet the resort tram. So it's a big cattle stall, long line, um, and if you want to do that, you have to sign up ahead of time, I believe, uh, for the actual excursion where you get a drink and all of that. Or you might be able to just take the free tram and hang out there and pay for the uh, resorts, food and drinks. So if you walk all the way around that tent, you can just go straight off the pier toward town. It's kind of a long walk, but it's beautiful because since the pier is so new, there's not a lot of overbuilding and commerce and it's just pretty natural. So we walked all the way to the end of the pier and um, when you're almost at the end, you'll see a golf cart storage area. Don't go there. Don't think you can rent carts there because you can't and they'll just ignore you. You have to keep walking till the end to that information booth and that's where you can pick up a taxi for $5 or rent a golf cart. And by taxi, I mean a tram that takes you into town and they give you a little tour on the way, although the audio was so bad we couldn't understand anything she was saying. And then they drop you off here where there's a little shopping area for t-shirts and souvenirs. Then behind you is the sidewalk that goes up to the beach. It's only about 100 yards, but as you can see, it's really rural and natural and that's what we loved about this island. It's not overbuilt. <laughs> <laughs> then once you get up to the beach, you can rent beach chairs and umbrellas. There's a really nice place to swim and there's sherries on the beach where you can get some food and drinks. We chose to walk down to the southern tip of the island to see this wreck and see if it was any good for snorkeling. But we really found that it was too shallow and we continued to walk down to the southern tip. We did find a lot of shells on the beach and in the water, but it is illegal to take them if there's an animal inside, either dead or living. So I would recommend that you take them off the sand because they will ask you when you get back to the ship if you got it from the water or the sand, so best to be safe. The snorkeling at the southern tip was definitely better than in the other places. You're not seeing large coral reefs, but you are seeing some colorful fish and there's an easy spot to get in right there where it's um, protected from the waves and the wind and it's easy to just walk in from the sand. So we really enjoyed snorkeling at this southern tip more than the wreck, which we did go back to, but it was just so shallow and the as you can see the waves are hitting the rocks right there so it's a little bit difficult to get in and this was not a rough day so I can only imagine what it would be like if it was really rough. If you want to go fishing, there were some fishing boats that were anchored in the beach area where people were swimming and you can just swim up to them and rent them for the day. I have no idea if they're any good or legit, but I did get a business card from the taxi driver on the way back 
and that's on my blog with their phone number and contact information. But again, I have no idea if they're licensed or if they're any good, just some local people who um, run charters. So there's our ship in the background of the beach. As you can see, it's not very crowded. We got a couple of drinks from Sherry's on the beach and collected some more shells and just had a really nice day there. There's their menu if you want to take a closer look. This is as of September 2021. So when we were ready to go back, we walked back down that sidewalk and did some shopping at those little kiosks. And we wanted to get the tram back, but there was no tram in sight and we waited for about 30 minutes. So finally a taxi came up in a, a car taxi, not the tram taxi, and asked us if we wanted to ride back to the ship for five bucks. So we took that deal. This is the area near the entrance to the pier where the trams would drop you off if we had taken one. And then we had the long walk down the pier back to the boat. We did see the Bimini Fast Ferry, which was docked there when we got back. It is a really cool boat. And that goes from Fort Lauderdale to Bimini daily. You can get day return tickets or return another day or one-way tickets. But I've got a link on my blog to their website for more information. We got back to the ship in plenty of time, a few hours before they were due to leave, so we had time to have a drink and sit out on the deck and just enjoy the view of the island. We had such fun here. I would definitely take a cruise back to this location in the future. For more information on cruising or travel around the world, visit my website at traveltipsandinfo.com.